ज्योतिरुपास्महे <coughs> इत्यादि <coughs> sorry so the objection if at all there is karma kartrutvam karma kartu virodha that is a vyakarana's perspective which does not apply to the shruti because shruti herself says that there is atma kartrutvam atma kriti hi parmatma himself manifested himself in the form of nama roopatmaka prapancha then what about this karma kartru virodha how should it be resolved you cannot stand on your own shoulders so this parinamat is vivarta due to vivarta due to the appearance of parmatma in the form of nama roopa swapnavat there is no real change because in swapna also the swapna drashta is the karta and swapna prapancha vishaya is karma the same entity becomes the karta as well as karma so we have an example for that that virodha is there only if there is real change real parinama this is a vivarta there is no parinama there is vivarta सो आत्मकृते हे आत्मकृते आत्मा हेर इज परमात्मा स्वयं देर फोर स्वयं कृते हे परिणाम दट इज सूत्रार्थ तद आत्मा स्वयं अकुरत आत्मा द्वितीयया कृति विषय स्वयं अकुरत कृतिम आमनायते दि श्रुति हर सेल्फ सेज दैट देर इज परमात्मा who is swayam karta and swayam karta atmanam swayam akurat made into this prapancha iti atmanam that atmanam is vitiya which is the karma to this swayam who is the karta swayam parmatma atmanam atmanam is swatmanam there the reflexive pronoun parmatma oneself made oneself into this prapancha iti atmanam iti dvitiya this is the dvitiya is a karma anavite karmani dvitiya <coughs> so in kartari prayoga akurata is a kartari prayoga there the karma goes in second case so you see second case here in kartari prayoga therefore atmanam iti dvitiya is what dvitiya karma karmani dvitiya anavihite karmani dvitiya therefore kriti vishayatvam kriti vishayatvam is karma so kriti vishaya kriti is kriti is also kriya there that creation kriya 
to that what is the vishaya karma atma in second case therefore atmanam iti dvitiyaya kriti vishayatvam svayam akurata ityanena kriti matvam cha amnayate so this karta kriti man one who has a kriti kriya one who has kriya kriya asya asti kriti hi kriya asya asti iti kriti man tasya bhava kriti matvam kartrutvam ityartha so kartrutva is there in parmatma the same atma how do you know that because swayam pada has been mentioned swayam swayam akurata the atma was made into this prapancha manifested by bhagavan himself therefore swayam akurata ityanena swayam shows that there is parmatma who is went by swayam is karta kriti matvam cha amnayate tas kasmin parmatmani swayam parmatmani kriti matvam cha amnayate the shruti herself says amnayate means the shruti says tatha cha brahmana upadanatvam nimittatvam cha aviruddham therefore brahma brahmatma being upadana karana as well as nimitta karana material cause as well as efficient cause is established and it is having no virodha there is no virodha kutaha how how is there no virodha meaning nimitta aviruddham how do you say aviruddham because shruti says it in shruti there can be no virodha whatever is your understanding should be reinterpreted in keeping with the shruti the literal meaning may seem opposite there may be virodha in the literal meaning therefore the contradiction is only apparent contradiction the contradiction is in the understanding of the seeker therefore that understanding has to be corrected kutah atmakrute he atma sambandhini kruti hi atmakrute hi bhagavan bhashyakara se vrittikara uh, uh, says that it is a madhyama pada lopa samasa madhyama pada lopi so sambandha between atmakruti is what atma sambandhini kruti is atmakruti the kruti which is related to the atma related to oneself tatah hetu and that becomes the hetu atmakrute he in panchami tatoh tato hetu ho tatah hetu ho panchami आत्मकृति हे ड्यू टू दैट आत्मकृति आत्म संबंधिनी कृति देर इज नो विरोध वॉट इज दट संबंध इट इज ऑल इमेजिन कल्पित कल्पित संबंध कल्पित परिणाम कल्पित कर्तृत्व ऑल्सो ऑल दैट इज कल्पित देर इज नो रियल क्रिएशन एंड देर फोर देर इज नो रियल कर्तृत्व एंड रियल कर्मत्व therefore sambandha is also not real and there cannot be any real virodha the virodha is also what apparent in the mind of the person who is trying to understand because he thinks that everything is the way it is there in the prapancha the way you see is all real and therefore only one perspective is there there is only one perspective there is no understanding of how there can be manifestation without real parinama therefore swapna example is given because it is anubhava siddha for every prani nanu atmanah kartrutvena purva siddhasya katham kriti karmatvam atah ah nanu atmanah kartrutvena the atma is as karta purva siddhasya katham kriti karmatvam how can there be karmatva karmatva bhava karmatva meaning karma bhava vishaya vishetva of this karta purva siddha se this parmatma is well established as jagat karta now you are claiming that he himself has become the jagat therefore he is also the karma how can that be so kriti karmatvam how can there be kriti karmatvam of the same ishara atma 
परमात्मा देर फोर आह अतः आह परिणामात परिणामात इज वॉट परिणाम विवर्त दिस परिणाम इज नॉट रियल परिणाम एज वी सॉ नॉट द वे मिल्क टर्न्स इन टू कर्ड बट द वे रज्जु सर्स टर्न्स इन टू सर्पा द रोप डज नॉट रियल बिकम अ रियल स्नेक द रोप एपियर्स एज अ स्नेक देर फोर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग हैज टू बी करेक्टेड सो परिणाम इज विवर्त देर इज नो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और मॉडिफिकेशन बट इट इज ओनली एन एपरेंट मॉडिफिकेशन सिद्ध से अभी विवर्तात्मना साधक सॉरी सिद्ध से अभी विवर्तात्मना साध्यवा कर्मवत्पत्तिर्थ सो कृतिकर्म कथम ओ इट इज ऑल विवर्त मीनिंग दिस आत्मा हु इज सिद्ध सी वॉट इज वॉट इज इज पूर्व सिद्ध से ब्रह्म इज ऑलरेडी देर परमात्मा इज ऑलरेडी देर ने हाउ डू यू से so it is not only uh, see what has been said is in the in the introduction to this sutra what was the question asked nanu ekasya krutimatvam kruti vishayatvam cha viruddham that virudha is what kartru karma virudha now this purva siddhasya is showing a different angle to the purva paksha what is that what is already there need not be created and cannot be created just give me a moment please <coughs> bad weather to have a cold and cough so <coughs> sorry so this purva siddhasya shows that this atmanah purva siddhatvam atma is paramatma brahmatma is purva siddha jagat is not purva siddha prior to creation kalpante or kalpado before creation what was there we agree that paramatma was there para brahma was there says the purva pakshi now this paramatma who was there earlier purva siddha meaning even uh, srishte prah purva is srishte purva yah siddha paramatma tasya kriti karmatvam katham how is there even a possibility of one who is already there being created so when you say paramatma creates himself then paramatma is already there why does he need to create himself in the form of jagat he is already there and what is not there cannot come into being this is dealt with in uh, very much detail in uh, karika pandukya karika by bhagwan gaudapada acharya to establish satkaryavada he says this creation that you talk about this prapancha which is there is it created anew what is not there that comes into being or what is already there comes into being there are only two possibilities what was not there is made what is not there is made is one paksha second is what what is there is made there are only two possibilities so gaudapada acharya asks what do you say this prapancha has come from has it come from something which is we wasn't there or has it come from something which is there so satkaryavada is established by saying that by refuting bauddha paksha you cannot have anything positive from nothing you cannot have utpatti from shunya therefore the utpatti has to be from something which is existent therefore sankhya says okay okay we say that pradhana is existent it is anadi and therefore this prapancha has come from anadi anadi pradhana then 
others also other darshanikas will say that okay it has come from anu nayayika would say nyaya vaisheshikas they say that it has come from existent anadi anus so the creation is from atoms even scientists would say that creation is from during big bang there was a creation so whether it is atoms or subatomic particles or whatever it is it is all existent so by this satkarya vada is endorsed and the asatkarya vada is refuted however vedanti says that this satkarya vada is a tool to refute the opponent bauddha paksha nastika paksha but it does not endorse satkarya vada as idamitham as ultimately real we say that parmatma is there and the creation is from parmatma it cannot feel from jada pradhana it cannot feel from jada anu parmanu so the sankhya paksha yoga paksha nyaya vaisheshika paksha all four darshanas are refuted what about purva mimamsaka purva mimamsaka says there is no creation at all he says that this prapancha has always been there he does not discuss creation at all they do not discuss creation because creation is not there at all they don't have to discuss it because they say that there is no creation what is this prapancha this prapancha has always been there anadi so with anadi you don't need a discussion of creation at all there is no manifestation no creation whatever the onus is on the uttar mimamsaka to establish some kind of a creation which is different from the bauddha paksha shunyavadi and which is different from the other darshanikas other four darshanikas because uttar mimamsaka says that okay purva mimamsaka does not talk about creation we'll set that aside having agreed with satkaryavada you have to show the difference of your kind of satkaryavada from the other four parmanuvadi or pradhanavadi to each so there gaudapada acharya says that we have shown you that there cannot be creation from creation of something which has never been there you cannot have something coming from nothing therefore that paksha is gone now he says that if there is creation from something existent the existent comes into being so better way to see the non existent comes into being is not possible illogical the existent comes into being is also illogical why he says aprayojanatva why would existent come into being because existent is already being is already existent coming into being is only possible even vichara is possible inquiry is possible only if something isn't there and something which isn't there cannot come into being that we already shown therefore now that something which is there does it come into being why should existent come into being because it is already existent therefore he says both are flawed pakshas there is only apparent manifestation later on much later he says that otherwise he says what ajatavada this prapancha has not come into being at all and this is in contrast to the purva mimamsaka because purva mimamsaka says that there is no creation now uttar mimamsaka gaudapada acharya bhagavan is saying that there is no creation what is the difference between these two so there he says that purva mimamsaka is saying that there is no creation this prapancha has already has always been there real this siddhanti vedanti says that the difference is that when i say that there is no creation i don't say that this prapancha has always been there i so say that there is no prapancha of the order of reality of parmatma which is paramartha sat there is no creation there is no there is no creation means there is no creation kriya and there is no creation vishaya also there is no prapancha existent at all that is ajatavada there was no 
बर्थ फॉर दिस प्रपंच बिकॉज वॉट जात जन्म नवती एंड अजात अपनी जन्म नवती सो ही शोज लॉजिकली देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी देन वॉट अबाउट द श्रुति वाक्याज ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑल ओवर ही सेज इट इज ऑल अध्यारोप एंड दैट अध्यारोप इज नॉट रियली डन बाय श्रुति श्रुति डज अनुवाद अनुवाद ऑफ एन ऑलरेडी एक्सेप्टेड फैक्ट एक्सेप्टेड थिंग एज अ फैक्ट दैट देर हैज टू बी सम क्रिएशन बिकॉज दिस के नॉट बी देर ऑल दिस के नॉट बी देर वी हैव नेवर सीन एनी थिंग automatically being there created so some creation has to be there some creator has to be there one or many therefore logically people have already landed even without inquiry they have already accepted that there is a creation now taking that anuvada in shruti the shruti has to explain so that you do not get stuck on that question therefore it is only an anuvada and thereby multiple contradictory stories i wouldn't even say in apparently contradictory apparent contradiction but there is real contradiction in the shruti if you take it the virodha is explained if at all see shruti cannot have real virodha therefore we say it is apparent contradiction and to all the purva paksha the siddhanti bhagwan bhashyakara explains that how this contradiction has to be resolved whether it is across kalpas there are various types of creations or whether it is the same thing mentioned in different ways or it is not a tatpare vishaya or uh, trivrit karanam includes panchi karanam all these answers are given for puro pakshis for the sadaka param siddhanta is there is no creation and how is it known the shruti talks about all these in different manners just to show you that that is mithya you have to land on the moral of the story one person tells the story in this way i mean even if you uh, have to you know uh, some crime stories if you look up or you know the uh, investigation into such stories there are various perspectives of various uh, witnesses and the job of the uh, investigator the police is to find out what is common among all the various perspectives of all the witnesses and then you land on this is the this is the reality what is common among all perspectives everyone will give their own uh, you know perspective of, and it's all a story similarly here all of these which are contradictory are but but story is but the tatpare vishaya of brahma atma ikya is the only fact so taking that as the ultimate conclusion bhagwan gauda padacharya writes his karika not letting you slip from that perspective so everything else he says it is all not there it isn't there it's a, it is not a fact therefore there is aja brahma brahma is aja ajata and prapancha has not really come up therefore ajata vada now this satkarya vada coming back to the context how is it applicable if you look at this purva siddhasya this purva siddha paramatma does not need to come into being he is already there so purva siddhasya kruti karmatvam कथम भवती अत आह परिणाम देर इज अवर्त देर इज नो रियल क्रिएशन इट विल इट इज स्टिल बी अज ब्रह्म ओनली दि ब्रह्म इज अज इवन आफ्टर क्रिएशन बिकॉज दि परिणाम इज विवर्त देर फोर भगवान गौड़पादाचार्य ऑल्सो वेन ही गोज फर्दर देन ही टॉक्स अबाउट नाम रूपात्म सृष्टि एंड ऑल दैट देन देर कम्स अ क्वेश्चन ओरियर यू हैव सेट दैट इट इज अज ajata vada and where do you get to this creation now as nama roopa srishti because even across kalpas that is also refuted across kalpas there is continuous srishti bija roopa so hetu hetu mat bhava bija and there is bija this is hetu then somebody does karma in the samashti karma if you take samashti karma then that becomes the hetu for phala so there he says hetu and phala he uses the word hetu and phala so hetu and phala there is a continuous sequence hetu becomes the uh, gives rise to phala and phala becomes the hetu for the next srishti 
then again there is phala for uh, that phala gives rise to hetu hetu gives rise to phala therefore there is a continuous srishti and that is the reason you cannot see arambha that is an answer given by the puro pakshi when arambha is inquired into there gaudapada acharya says what is the sequence now this sequence the series that you talk about of hetu and phala there is a series you are saying and therefore i cannot ask for arambha arambha is questioned by bhagwan gaudapada acharya he says there is this anadi srishti there is no arambha because it has always been a series if at all it is a series then what is this series you have to give a lakshana of that series he says that without the individual members of hetu first hetu first phala you will start somewhere so first hetu somewhere where you start we will take that as a first hetu first hetu first phala then second hetu second phala so you will have such kind of a series he says those are individual members now what is this series pray tell without these individual members without the individual members there is nothing called as series and since the individual members have been shown to be not there therefore there cannot be series also so your claim of series also falls apart having said that much later bhagwan gaudapada acharya says there is a series so why do you say there is a series so we say that the the claim made by the puro pakshi that there is real creation has been refuted therefore real hetu phala bhava has been refuted the real series is refuted but the mithya creation mithya hetu hetu phala bhava mithya series is not refuted so this nama roopa being mithya there is mithya creation and with mithya creation this parinama is mithya therefore it is vivarta so srishti is what it is all gnan of bhagavan therefore when we say abhinna nimitto padana karana their upadana karana is not needed that's what it means we don't need upadana karana somebody had asked me in this context it has to be mentioned somebody asked me what is this in swapna what is the material of the prapancha swapna prapancha it feels real you uh, in fact he said what is the what is the material of jagrat also you tap on the table it sounds like wood so this there has to be some material of the entire prapancha there has to be some material i said it is paramatma's gnana which is material gnana itself is material there is no separate material because gnana is paramatma's chaitanya swarupa that chaitanya swarupa is material he said how can it be material i gave him swapna vatra so he said in swapna there is no material right i said exactly but does it feel like a material no matter what he is he was unable to accept that in swapna there is material which is the swapna drashta alone therefore there is no material separate material he is unable to see that if he taps on the if he were to tap on the swapna table dream table it would feel as real as materialistic as as much a product of material wood or steel or whatever in the dream just like it is in the as much as it is in the waking but if you understand that then you see that how bhagwan does not need material of the type that we think that material is gnana therefore there is no when we say abhinna nimitto padana karana that upadana karanatvam is used only to refute the puro pakshi and we discuss all this but what is the real upadana karana the real upadana karana is chaitanya of bhagwan which is gnana which is nimitta itself therefore upadana is nimitta which is chaitanya swarupa there is no separate upadanatvam so although the uh, veda mantra says that you know only the uh, 25% of bhagwan has been manifest all these are only you know numbers are no numbers there it is only to show that bhagwan is limitless ananta tattva there is no tatparya in a number or there is no tatparya in 
real parinama so it is all vivarta and since it is vivarta siddhasya api vivartatmana sadhyatvat how can the siddha become sadhya asiddha cannot become sadhya siddha also cannot become sadhya because there is no necessity it makes no sense of siddha to become sadhya what is already attained cannot be attained cannot what is already created cannot be created so vivartatmana possible vivartatmana meaning it is only kalpana ityartha vivartatmana this atma is swarupa there vivarta swarupe there is no real change there is only imagined difference sadhyatvat karmatva upapatti ityartha therefore karmatvam is definitely possible because it is kalpita karmatvam there is no real karmatvam there cannot be real karma to otherwise we agree that there will be kartru karma virodha but the kartrutvam is also really kalpita it is not real it is kalpita thereby it is established that bhagwan is nimitta as well as upadana karana kinch further yonishchahi giyate yonishchahi gihat giyate also the shruti sings about it. as what you need he he is yasmat yasmat karanat shrutihi yonihi parabrahma yonihi iti giyate di shruti or giyate shruti na giyate shruti na shruti shruti na giyate there is the by shruti there is there is mention of parabrahma as yoni where is it so yoni is what the bhuta yoni the prapancha yoni yoni is what karana jagat karana upadana karana the source yad bhuta yonim paripashyanti iti prakriti vachaka yoni shabdena atma hi asmad giyate tasmat prakriti hi brahma eva brahma is prakriti there is no other prakriti upadana karana is brahma alone there is no other upadana karana because yoni shabda is what the meaning for prakriti prakriti vachaka shabda upadana karana vachaka shabda therefore by saying yad bhuta yonim paripashyanti they see this parabrahma परमात्मा एज भूत योनि भूत भौतिक सृष्टि इज मेंड बाय भूत सो जगत जगत योनि इत्यर्थ सो जगत कारण उपादान कारण परिपश्यन्ती इति प्रकृतवाचक योनि शब्देन दि योनि शब्द स्टैंड्स फॉर प्रकृति देयरफॉर इट इज प्रकृतिवाचक एंड देयर बाय आत्मा ही अस्माद् गीयते सिंस आत्मा परमात्मा अलोन इज सेड टू बी भूत योनि देयरफॉर आत्मा इज भूत प्रकृति तस्मा प्रकृति ब्रह्म एव ब्रह्मात्मा एव इत ब्रह्म प्रकृति प्रकृति च सिद्ध कर्तृत्म हेज ऑलरेडी बीन एस्टाब्लिश विच वॉज सीन एज वॉट निमित्त कारण बाय पूर्व पक्षी एंड ई सेट दट आई एक्सेप्ट यू हेव एस्टाब्लिश इट वेल बट वॉट अबउट उपादान कारण दैट हेज ऑलसो बीन एस्टाब्लिश देर फोर प्रकृति सिद्ध नाउ बट कर्तृत्व वॉज ऑलरेडी सिद्ध देर फॉर प्रकृति कर्तृत्व सिद्ध इत्थम अभिहितेन न्यायेन ईक्षतेर्नाशब्दीना अशब्दी हेतु प्रधान कारणवाद यथा निराकृत न तथा इह अणुस्वभाव असत्कारणवाद निराकृत न निराकृत पूर्व पक्षी सेज ओके देर आर अदर पूर्व पक्षीज ऑल्सो देर नैयायिका वैशेषिका आर देर दे आर वॉचिंग ओवर ऑल दिस द एंटायर रेफ्यूटेशन सो फार वॉज वॉट स्टार्टिंग विथ ईक्षतेर ना शब्द द रेफ्यूटेशन वॉज ऑफ सांख्या प्रधान के नॉट बी कारण इति अभिहितेन न्यायेन देर हैज बीन अ कंप्लीट 
refutation of sankhyas so what was refuted you know continuously abhitena what has gone by this entire refutation starting with ikshatir na shabdam which is in the first pada of the first chapter what did you do you the siddhanti ityadina ashabdatvaadi hetubhi ashabd pradhana is ashabd does not have shabd pramana therefore pradhana cannot be jagat karana pradhana is not discussed in shruti at all all these was shown and so many other reasonings were given for pradhana to not be jagat karana through those hetus pradhan karanavad si pradhan karanavad sankhyas paksha is pradhan karana karanatvam pradhanasya karanatvam that is their entire vad and to establish that they have entire prakriya so when i said that we agree with sankhyas it is not that we agree with sankhyas as darshana we agree with sankhyas up to such an extent that they do not misinterpret shruti as long as they are in sync with shruti we are always in sync with sync with shruti because we don't have any other pramana our tarka is also what shruti siddha tarka therefore when any darshana talks about anything which is in line with shruti we'll say we agree with you so we are not building over their darshanas really although i said that we build over their, their darshanas we use their darshana to refute others we do not reinvent the wheel of of a debate so we reuse in the debate what has gone by whatever prakriyas they have used to establish something which is useful to establish our darshana which is based on shruti since it is agreeable to the others known to the others other darshanas are known to the others the methodology is known to the others we reuse it it does not mean that we agree with the darshana proper we say that these parts in the darshanas are in sync with shruti or they can be explained in this this manner the way they have explained so that you cannot question the shruti if at all you question my interpretation of the shruti then you have to question that darsh- darshana also your own darshana also so the way you have used it i can also use it does not mean that you are right it means that your process can be reused by me to show how we have interpreted appropriately from the shruti vakyas from the shruti therefore bearing the conclusions or their main siddhantas we may agree with some parts because they are in line with shruti so we mean that really what you mean is that we agree with shruti and since you agree we have no virodha there we are not saying that you are right we are saying that that part in that ansha we don't have any virodha because there is no virodha with shruti and we can reuse it also because shruti also says so we will reuse your methodology because we don't want to you know do something anew and explain that what is already known can be reused we don't want to reinvent the wheel in parts where the prakriya is already established which explains how shruti means what shruti means and how it can means in such a manner so there we reuse some parts because they are in line with shruti we agree only with shruti not with other darshanas and definitely there is disagreement virodha in their tatparya conclusion so when pradhana karana vada is mentioned what is vada vada is that which is their primary or pradhana siddhanta so their pradhana means main main siddhanta this pradhana is their pradhana which is which we call as mula prakruti with of course many differences but mula prakruti is our word for their pradhana and that is their pradhana vada meaning no, pradhana vada is their main vada about pradhana which is mula prakruti so pradhana means main when we say vada is whatever is 
pradhana in any darshana that is their vada so when the uh, there is a word called as maya vada for vedantis it is used by even by vedantis because it is used by puropakshis especially the moderners or even the old uh, uh, granthas you see the word mayavadis mayavada but we are not mayavadis just like they are pradhanavadis sankhya we are not mayavadis this word is very loosely used because our pradhana siddhanta is not maya it is brahma so we are brahmavadis but anyway that word is there in uh, in usage but the fact should be understood that vada is only when it is pradhana in the darshana and for us brahma is pradhana natu maya therefore we are not maya vadins we are brahma vadins so here pradhana karana vada who is pradhana karana vada sankhya primarily and by extension yogi but for yogi the vada is not pradhana about pradha, uh, meaning the the pradhana vada is not pradhana karana vada since karana has to be mentioned as one of the parts pradhana is mentioned as karana which is taken from sankhya verbos whatever sankhya say we agree but what is their vada what is their pradhana darshana darsha dar, in darshana what is pradhana what is the main focus that is samadhi and angas ashtanga so therefore we say ashtanga yoga what is ashtanga yoga that is the vada in ashtanga yoga the yamaniyamadi ashtangas are the vadas are the pradhana tattva der siddhanta therefore that is their vada they are not pradhana karana vadi is per se they are they are pradhana karana vadi it is not their vada pradhana being karana is not their only vada that is just a restatement where they don't want to discuss further that is not their focus their focus is samadhi yoga yoga chitta vritti nirodha therefore yoga being samadhi as the goal the means is discussed and that means sadhana is pradhana there and that sadhana is what since for sankhyas the sadhana is jnana what kind of jnana knowing this creation knowing purusha knowing the difference between pradhana and purusha and the various prakriti vikrutis and prakriti is vikrutis and prakriti vikrutis in pradhana and differentiating this purusha from all of them that by sankhya by numbers and by differentiation by jnana therefore that is pradhana karana vada is the main vada in sankhya sankhya darshana but in yoga darshana they just restate pradhana as karana from sankhya grantha and they focus the entire effort in their darshana on what on ashtanga now the yoga can also be refuted how yoga the pradhana karana vada ansha in the yoga darshana will stand refuted yoga darshana proper has not been refuted that will come much later but karanatva is being discussed here because what are we saying this uh, tatparya vishaya of entire vedanta veda vedanta is in brahma so by using karana as what in as as something to be inquired into we say brahma is this entire prapancha and that prapancha if it is the focus because what is the focus in inquiry even in who am i what is this prapancha who is the creator of this prapancha how did i come into being what is my relation with this prapancha with the creator between the creator and this prapancha all these questions are included therefore any darshana should be answering all of this and the focus becomes karana therefore this samanvaya adhyaya at the beginning itself looked into karana and that karana is para brahma which is our vada we say our vada is brahma vada and aikya between then when you inquire into sambandha we will say aikya is it tatpare vishaya that brahma which is revealed by the shruti is revealed as one with you therefore we don't have a different vada at all this is all that will continue from the samanvaya adhyaya through avi- avirodha till phala also therefore we began there and we stay there however the 
Sankhya who talks about Pradhana Karana was refuted in, in the stride so far from Ekshater Ikshat, Nashabdam Ekshatyadikaranam. Till this Adikaranam, all talk was about Sankhya. Therefore, Sankhya being refuted, Yoga is partly refuted. Only Karanatva Amsha is refuted. Their, uh, the, their Darshana proper has to end goal into Dvaita. Samadhi is not really going to be refuted at all because Samadhi is a tool for even for Vedanti, Advaita Vedanti. In orthodoxy, Samadhi is valued. It is not to be thrown away. There are moderners who throw away, but then uh, we'll see how Samadhi is also valued. It is mentioned by Bhagavan Bhashyakar also at many places. It is a sadhana. We don't say that is the end goal because Samadhi by itself cannot give you Advaita Siddhi. It will give you the Purusha of Sankhyas. The Purusha of Sankhyas who is Nana, one among many, that kind of Siddhi is possible. And then of course if you learn the Advaita Mahavakya, then if you understand it, then there is Moksha. Therefore Samadhi becomes a tool. So the Ashtanga Yoga is not going to be really refuted, but the end goal into Samadhi which culminates in only Dvaita Jnana, Samadhi cannot give you Aikya Jnana, but there is Jnana in Samadhi also because any Anubhava is, is Jnana. All Jnanas are not Anubhavas, but every Anubhava is Jnana. Therefore, there is no difference between Jnana and Anubhava. What is the Lakshana of uh, Anubhava? Smriti Bhinnam Jnanam Anubhava. Tarkika says this, we don't refute it because we agree. Smriti bhinnam jnanam anubhava. Smriti is also jnana. Anubhava is also jnana. So when you say jnana, it includes anubhava also. You differentiate anubhava from smriti as that kind of jnana which is different from smriti jnana. Smriti also is jnana. I recollect something, it, it, it's, it's knowledge. I can recollect something. There is jnana vritti in my antakkarana. Anubhava also gives me, Samadhi is an Anubhava and therefore it is Jnana. So it is not that Samadhi cannot give Jnana. There are many non-orthodox, I'll just, I'll specifically mention this. They may be part of the tradition, but they are non-orthodox. I wouldn't say opposed to orthodoxy. There are some who are opposed to orthodoxy also for whatever reasons, their own reasons. We'll not get into that, but we as Sadaka should understand that what is useful for us, we should not throw away. Samadhi is useful. Samadhi is not easy. It's not a joke. But it is not sufficient by itself. And nobody claims it. Nobody in orthodoxy also claims that Samadhi is sufficient in orthodox Advaita Vedanta. There may be other orthodox schools who are stuck in yoga only. Therefore, we should know that Pradhana Karanavada Yata Nirakrutaha Tatha Samadhi Vada has not been refuted because that is not the topic here at all. Samadhi culminating into Dvaita and that is the Samadhi where you know the Purusha is separate from Antakkaranadi, Buddhyadi or all Koshas. That is not Mukti, Advaita Mukti. It can give Siddhis, it can give uh, uh, amazing Ananda, all that is fine, we agree with it. But it is not Atyantika, Dukkha Nivritti and it is not Nitya Sukha Prapti of Advaita. So, yoga has not been refuted complete, but only an Amsha has been refuted because it is not the topic here at all. The focus is on Karana. Now, the other Puro Pakshis are there who say that Vada Vada Var Paksha. So, Yatha Pradhana Karanavada meaning Sankhyas completely because now another uh, thing that you have to know is that when the Pradhana, when the Pradhana, Pradhana Tattva, I don't mean Pradhana again, when the main Tattva, I'll, I'll stick with translation there, when the main Tattva, main Darshana Tattva is refuted, then the entire Darshana stands refuted because whatever is your Paramatatparya, Paramatatparya, so Paramavada. Whatever is Paramatattva in the Darshana is refuted, then the entire Darshana is refuted. Meaning we don't agree with the Darshana at all, with Sankhya Darshana. And I had mentioned earlier that uh, this is very well known also, that this is what Prathama 
ಪ್ರಥಮ ಮಲ್ಲ ನಿವರ್ಹಣ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಯು ವಿನ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿ ಅಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಮೇನ್ ಅಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ರಿಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಈಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ವೈಶೇಷಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ನ ತಥಾ ಇಹ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಅಣು ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಅಸತ್ ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ರಿಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸತ್ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಸತ್ಕಾರಣ ಸತ್ಕಾರ್ಯವಾದ ಸತ್ಕಾರ ಸತ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ಸೊ ದ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾರಣ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಕಾರಣ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ದಿ ನೈಯಾಯಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೈಯಾಯಿಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸತ್ಕಾರಣವಾದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ದಿನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅಣೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಣು ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ತೈತಿರಿ ಅವರ್ ಗೀತಾ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರಿಕಾಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ರಿಫ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಬೌದ್ಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇವನ್ ನೈಯಾಯಿಕ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಅಸತ್ಕಾರ್ಯವಾದ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿ ಹೀಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಸದ್ ದ ವೇ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಆಟ್ ಘಟ ಘಟ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಘಟ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಾಟ್ one of the karanas for ghata utpatti those who have studied tarkas we have seen this there in tarka sangra g there is pratiyogi needed and that pratiyogi is also karana so ghata abhava is karana for ghata therefore prapancha abhava is karana for prapancha why because whatever is present before the the kshana in the kshana before creation all that is karana and it should be what niyata nityatvena whatever has to be definitely there in each and every creation of the pot just a moment before the creation of the pot ghatotpatti all that is karana therefore the question is where the ghata bhava praga bhava ghata praga bhava should be there or not if ghata praga bhava is not there meaning what ghata is not formally existent uh, non existent ghata is not does not have former non existent means what ghata is there if ghata is there then ghata utpatti cannot take place therefore ghata should be formally non existent so prior non absence meaning ghata pragabhava should be there one moment up to one moment before ghata utpatti therefore for all ghata utpattis that kind of a ghata pragavava has to be there therefore ghata pragavava is also karana so bhagwan bhashyakara says even there ghata pragavava that pragavava of nayahikas is also better than your shunyavadis because it is not shunya it is non existent earlier ghata is non existent earlier but what is that non existent that abhav rupa he says that abhav what is ghata pragavava he he says that nayayikas may call it is pragabhava but what is that ghata pragabhava ghata pragava where does it rest ghata pragabhava will be there in the ghata kapala or mrit it is in the upadana karana of the ghata which is existent therefore it is an existent abhava that abhava is not shunya rupa it is in an existent upadana karana and it is an existent guna dharma whatever it is it is better than your shunya why i am mentioning is that because although we say that uh, they are not asat karanavadis or asat karyavadis but still that asat is not they they are, uh, they are not sat karyavadis they are they they will fall into asat only what is not there has been created they say but what is not there is also there in some form in the we say that whether they agree or not it is a different story we differentiate them from the shunyavadis therefore this anu iha anu paramanu swabhava asat karanavadah all this has not been refuted na means what na nirakrutah this nirakrutah has anuvrutti there so that has not been refuted therefore what about the other darshanikas tesham api karanatva bodaka shabdanam shrutatvad iti pratyudharana sangatya idamah he says that their karana 
is also discussed. Why? Because Karanatva Bodhaka Shabdanam. Uh, just give me a moment. Is that the word there? Oh. Uh. Okay, yeah. There. So, Tesham. Okay. So, Tesham api Karanatva Bodhaka Shabdanam. Tesham Darshanikanam. Tesham Darshananam. Karanatva Bodhaka Shabdanam. There, Karanatva Bodhaka Shabdas have been heard and refuted in the Shruti. We hear such words. Therefore, what we have done by that, the other darshanas will also stand refuted because their focus is also on this karana. As what? They talk about Paramanu Vada is what? Paramanu being the karana. Paramanu Karana Vada. Nayayikas, Vaisheshikas. And Puramimamsakas, we said that they don't talk about karana at all because they don't think that there is creation. So they are not needed there. They, are, they have also been refuted at length because their focus is on Swarga and their focus is on uh, karma and upasana. So with this background, this will be easy now. Pratyudharana Sangatya Idamaha. There is a counter example. Uh, there is a counter questioning as to they have not been refuted other darshanas, but you have refuted only Sankhyas. Thereby, Sarva Vyakhyana Adhikaranam. All these have been discussed. Even without uh, even without talking them about them Shabdataha we have refuted them because Shrutis have been quoted. They include this. Therefore, this uh, Anu, anu Karanavada, Swabhava Karanavada and Asat Karanavada. These three are there. Anuscha, Swabhavascha, Asatcha, Karanani, Yasmin, Vade, Samuha. Yasmin, Vade, Yasmin, Vada, Samuhe. Ityartha. What is that? Saha, Anu, Swabhava, Asat, Karanavada. So where Anu is the Paramanu is the Karana, that kind of a Vada or Swabhava. Swabhava is also Karana. Swabhava means this Puramimamsaka is also included. The others also talk about this Jagat Swabhava. It is already, already like that. Or Asat Karana, where Asat is Shunya there. Therefore, this Buddhist also. Etena Sarve Vyakhyata Vyakhyata Ha. Etena Sarve Vyakhyata Vyakhyata Ha. So, etena, etena, nirakarane na, sarve darshana, darshanani, sarve darshanani, vyakhyata. They have also been, vyakhyata, they have also been, uh, vada, sarve vada will take, because vyakhyata is, is pulling. So, etena, sarve, so, sarve vada nirakruta ityartha. There is a commentary being done of refutation on all other darshanas also, all other vadas also. This repetition vyakhyata is to show that the, there is an end of pada. Atra, so, this is the last sutra in this pada and the adhyaya. End of, not end of, end of pada, end of adhyaya. Atra puru bhakshe brahmani eva vedanta samanvaya asiddhi. So, brahmani vedanta samanvaya Asiddhi says the Pura Paksha. We have seen this many times. Siddhante tat siddhiriti phala veda. There is samanvaya siddhi in Brahma of all Vakya. Atra Vedanta ha vishaya. All Vedantas are vishaya here. Tatra kim Brahmana yuva. Paramanu shunyadi naam api kvachit jagat karanatvam shrutam Is there a shruti which talks about Paramanu as karana or shunya as karana or sabhava as karana? Atva sarvatra Brahmana yuva sarva karanatvam Pratiniyatam iti samshaye or everywhere you see in Vedanta that Brahma alone is the Karana, not any anything else. When such a doubt is there, the Siddhanti says what? See, this Pura Paksha said that Karanatva Bodhaka Shabdanam Shrutatvad. So this Pura Paksha, Pratyudharana Sangati is by Pura Paksha. He says that Anuvaya, such words are used. Asat word is also used. Therefore, Karana can be Anu or Asat also. That is the Pratyudharana Sangati. But Etena Sarve Vyakhyata is an answer to that kind of a Karanatva thinking in others. It is all only in Brahma. And by refuting, while refuting the Pradhana, we have also refuted others because the Hetus given will apply in a similar manner. What are the Hetus given? You look at those Hetus. And those Hetus will apply even to these Anu and Asat kind of words there. That you see. So, 
ಅನ್ವಯ ಇವೇ ಮಾಧಾನಾಹ ಅಸದೇವ ಇದಮಗ್ರಾಸೀತ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವಮೇಕೆ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿಷು ಅಣ್ವಾದೀನಾಮಿ ಕಾರಣತ್ವ ಶ್ರುತಂ ಇದು ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷ ಸೊ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಸೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ಅಣು ಅಣು ಇವ ಇಮಾ ಧಾನ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಣು ಪರಮಾಣು ಸೊ ದಿ ನ್ಯಾಯವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕಾರಣ ಪರಮಾಣು ಇದು ಕಾರಣ ಅಸದೇವ ಇದಮಗ್ರ ಆಸೀತ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅಸತ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ರಿಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೊ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಮೇಕೆ ಸೊ ಜಗತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಗತ್ ಅದೇ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಟು ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೇ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ದೇ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಅಸತ್ ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಣು ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಪರಮಾಣು ಕಾರಣವಾದ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಎಗ್ರಿ ಈವನ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಸ್ತು ಏತೇನ ಪ್ರಧಾನವಾದ ನಿರಾಕರಣೆ ಯೇ ಹೇತವ ಅಶಬ್ದತ್ವ ಅಶಬ್ದತ್ವ ಅಚೇತನತ್ವ ಏಕವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾ ಅನುಪಪತ್ಯಾದಯ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಏತೇನ ಸರ್ವೇ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾತ ಹೌ ಹೌ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ನಿರಾಕರಣ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸತ್ ಅಸತ್ ಅಣು ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನವಾದ ನಿರಾಕರಣೆ ಇನ್ ದಿ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನವಾದ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯವಾದ ಏ ಹೇತವ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಶಬ್ದತ್ವ ದಟ್ ಅಶಬ್ದತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷ ಅಣು ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಸತ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶಬ್ದ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಅಚೇತನತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ಅಣು ಚೇತನ ನ್ಯಾಯವೈಶೇಷಿಕ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ನೋ ನೋ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಚೇತನ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಅಚೇ ಅಚೇತನತ್ವ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ದರ್ಶನ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸೀನ್ ಎಸ್ಟಡೇ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ so kamayat these kind of mantras cannot be interpreted this anu cannot be saha who has akamayat who has has kamana kriya has had kamana kriya and has ichcha that is not possible in anu in asat also it is not possible in swabhava what is swabhava swabhava also in swabhava you cannot say it is possible swabhava is not an entity also to discuss as you know swabhava ಓ ನಾಮ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚೇತನ ಚೇತನ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹೇತು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಅಶಬ್ದತ್ವ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯೂ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೆ ಅಚೇತನತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಹೇತು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಏಕವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಸತ್ವ ಆರ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಆರ್ ಪರಮಾಣು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಯು ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪರಮಾಣು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಭೇದ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಭೇದ ಡು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಪರಮಾಣು ಆಲ್ಸೋ nayayika says that each parmanu is differentiated from the other by by you know that this parmanu belongs only to this uh, this kind of a uh, karya so between parmanus also there are bheda nana there, there are uh, there are infinite parmanus so how can you say that by knowing these this karana one karana everything can be known you cannot know one parmanu you have to know infinite parmanus therefore this pratijnya will fall apart so eka vijnana pratijnya anupapatti eka vijnana pratijnya and then anupapatti is also many anupapatti is are shown phala which is given such phalas cannot accrue or the characteristic of uh, the particular uh, karana will be looked into that will not accrue therefore that will not apply that cannot be the resultant also therefore anupapatti also is one hetu there are so many hetu shown ashabdatva achetanatva ekavijnana pratijnya and we can take it as anupapatti as separate also ekavijnana pratijnya anupapatti also and many others logic is also shown tesham anuvadi pakshe api samyena samyena because there is samya of all those hetus being applicable for refutation of all the other darshanas sarve anuvadi karanavada nirakrutatvena vyakhyata so vyakhyata kena rupena vyakhyata kim rupena nirakrutatvena they have also been commented and as though as though commented because they are also they also stand refuted by similar reasonings nacha asadityadi shabda virodha and this asad ityadi shabda virodha 
that cannot be there. Why? Asat Shabdasya Anabhivyakta Nama Namarupa Paratvena Avirodhat. We have already shown that Asat Shabda that is there. So Shruti says that and it is what the, it means Nama Rupa. This was dealt with in detail. Sukshvatvacha Atmani Anushabdaha Gaunaha. And in Atma, if Anu Shabda has been used, Anu is not Paramanu. Why? That Anu Shabda, if you claim again, you will say Anu means what? Subtle. Sukshmatvat. Anu Shabdasya Sukshmatvat. Sukshma can be the meaning of Anu Shabda and that is the meaning used here. Therefore, Sukshmatvacha Atmani Anu Shabda. Atma is Anu because Atma is Sukshma. Therefore, Anu word has been used for Atma showing Sukshmatvam. Therefore, Gaunaha. It is not in the meaning of Anu means small, Paramanu, atomic, but it means subtle. Svabhava Vadastu. What about Svabhava? Svabhava Shabda has been used. Svabhava Vadastu Puro Pakshatvena Upanyastaha. This has been taken up as Puro Paksha because we have seen entire uh, Puro Mimamsaka also has been discussed by showing that, you know, uh, the things that they, the, the way this mantra results in, uh, mantra itself results in phala, there, in other places in bhashya also it is there, but it has been shown here as well, and more will be shown as well, in different contexts, but swabhavavadaha, puro pakshatvena upanyasta, as karana, it is not possible, you take any swabhav of this devata, or whatever you talk about, all that cannot be possible, so therefore, uh, there has to be uh, there has to be a sentient creator and that is Parabrahma. Vyakhyata iti padabhyasa abhyasa there is a vipsa there is a doubling of the word Vyakhyata. Why is that? Adhyasa parisamaptyartha to show that the adhyaya is over. Tasma jagat karne sarvajnye jidnyasya brahmani vedantanam samanvaya na anyatra iti siddham Therefore, the entire Tatpare Vishya of, of the entire Shruti, all Vedanta Vakyas are in what? Jagat Karana Brahma, which is Jijnyasya, Jijnyasya Brahma. This Brahma has to be inquired into who is Sarvajnya Brahma because he is Sarva Karana and therefore Sarva Karanatvam is not possible unless the Nimitta Karana has Sarva Jnana. Therefore, he is Sarvajnya also. And that Jagat Karana Brahma is Sarvajnya Brahma. And in that Brahma, there is Jidnya Sattvam. Should be inquired into why? Because Eka Jnana Sarvajnana is possible. Sarvajnana is only possible, uh, is possible with only Eka Jnana, which is Karana Jnana. Karana Jnana, Karya Jnana, Sarva Karya Jnana Bhavati. Therefore, Vedantanam Samanvaya Brahmani Eva Na Anyatra Iti Siddham. There is no not even a single Vedanta Vakya which has Anvaya, which has Tatpare, which has anything other than Brahma, all of them mean Brahma. There is a Mangala Charana at the end of uh, the Vritti. Chatus, chatus Trimshat Param Sutra Shatakam to Samanvaye Adhyaye Tadvad Ekona Chatvarimshan Nyaya Mata ha, uh, Mataha Brahmanamni Paredhamni Pratyapadi Samanvaya Trayanta Santate Yasmins Tadasmin Jyotiratatam. Iti Srimat Paramahasa Parivrajaka Acharya Shri Paramashivendra Saraswati Padabja Seva Parayanena Shri Sadashiva Shri Sadashivendra Saraswatya Virachitayam Srimat Brahma Sutra Uttu Brahma Tattva Prakashikayam Prathamo Adhyayaha. So Sadashiva Brahmahendra Saraswati Swami makes Mangalacharana at the end of the first Adhyaya and he says Chatus Trimshat Param Sutra Shatakam. Sutra Shatakam is 100 sutras. And Chatus Trimshat Param, meaning uh, Trimshat is 30, Chatus is 4. So 34 over 100 to Samanvay. In this Samanvay Adhyaya, there are 134 sutras. Then Adhyaye Tadvad Ekona Chatwarimshat Nyaya Mataha. Nyayaha Mataha. So how many sutras? Uh, in Adhyaya Tadvad Ekona Chatvarimshat Ekona Ekona is one less one less than what? Chatvarimshat Chatvarimshat is 40 so one less than 40 is 39 so there are 39 Adhikaranas Nyaya Adhikaranas 
There are 39 Adhikaranas and 134 Sutras in Samanvaya Adhyaya. Samanvaya Adhyaya. Brahmanamni Paredhamni Pratyapadi Samanvaya. Samanvaya has been established, revealed. Pratyapadi. It's a word. So has been revealed into what? In Brahma. In para, Paradhama. Paradhaman. Which is Brahma. So all the Samanvaya is into Brahma. Brahma, which is the which is the substratum and which is the refuge of everything. Parabrahma, Paramatma. Trayanta, Trayanta, three, three, th these three are what? Vedas. And Trayanta is Vedanta. Vedanta Santate he Yasmin. Vedanta Santati is in which? Tad Asmin Jyotir Atatam. That that Jyoti, Param Jyoti, that Jyoti Asmin, this Trayanta Santate He Yasmin, in which Brahmanamni Yasmin, Brahmanamni Trayanta Santate Santate He, Santate He Samanvaya Yasmin. So Trayanta Santate He Saman, Samanvaya Kasya Samanvaya, Kesham Samanvaya, Samanvaya of Vedanta, so Vedanta Vakyas, meaning Santati of Vedanta Vakyas, the flow of Santati is what? Santati is, uh, Santati is uh, Tanu Vistare. Sampurvaka Tanu Vistare. The Vistara. The, uh, therefore, you know, the Santati Tanu Vistare. Santana. The Shabda Santana is known. Santana is what? The flow of the parent into the generations. Of each being, there is a flow in generation. Therefore, there is a series. There is a series. The generation is a series. Santati, that is a Santana continues the series of the, the genetic series, the generation. Therefore, the same person continues in the as putra or putri and so on. The parents continue to live through the children. So that is Santana. And the Santati is what? The, this Vedanta, the flow, the series of Vedanta. Therefore, Trayanta Santate He Samanvaya Kasmin Bhavati. Yasmin Bhavati Tad Brahma, Brahma Namni Paredhamni Bhavati and that was Pratyapadi, that was, uh, that was revealed, that was explained as Samanvaya of all Vedanta, series of Vedanta Vakyas are into, all Vedanta Vakyas are into Brahma and Santati Yasmin Bhavati, Yasmin Brahma Namni Paredhamni Bhavati Tad Asmin Jyoti Ratatam and or you can read it as Santatehe Jyotihi Atatam. So there, Yasmin Bhavati, Yasmin, so you can reuse by uh, Dahali Deepanyaya. This Trayanta, Trayanta Santatehe Shabda is there in, the, in between this earlier line and the last Pada. The two Padas that precede and then the last Pada. Therefore, you can say Yasmin Trayanta Santatehe Samanvayaha. Uh, or you can say Trayanta Santati He Samanvaya Ha Brahma Namni Paredhamni Pratyapadi and Yasmin Trayanta Santati He Jyoti He Tat that is that that Tad Tad Asmi so here Tad Asmin is there Asmin Tad that very Brahma Nam Yasmin Bhavati Tad so you can say Yasmin Brahma Namni Paredhamni Samanuhe Pratyapadi Tasmin Trayanta Santate He Jyotihi Atatam. Atatam is Vyaptam. So that Jyotihi is Vyapta in that Brahma. The Brahma Trayanta Santate Jyoti is there in Brahma itself. It reveals Brahma basically. The Vedanta alone is Pramana for Brahma and it is Pramana for Aikya Brahma Aikya alone. इति श्रीमत् परमहंस परिवराज काचार्य श्री परमशिवेंद्र सरस्वती पादाब्ज सेवा परायणीन सो द गुरुज नेम इज मेंशन थ्रू द सेवा ऑफ दिस गुरु हु इज परमहंस परिवराज का आचार्य श्री परम शिवेंद्र सरस्वती एंड थ्रू हिज द सेवा ऑफ हिज पादाब्ज पादकमल श्री सदा शिवेंद्र सरस्वती हैज क्रिएटेड बाय हिम विरचितायाम इन दिस Brahma Sutra Vritti called Brahma Tattva Prakashika in that Pratham Adhyay Samapta which is Virachita which is Visheshena Rachita by Sri Sadashivendra Saraswati who we call as Sadashiva Brahmendra. Uh, 
uh, well known in that manner. So sorry for the delay, but I wanted to finish this adhyaya today. Amnayanta samsiddham adi madhyanta varyatam ananda karam apur vatma jyoti rupasmi. Namaste, I'll see you in the next part. Huh? Sorry? Oh, I didn't hear somebody said something.